What's up, people of YouTube? This is Grow Me Something Mr. Welcome to Brighter Day Gardens. It's Friday, August 2nd, 2019, and as part of the pineapple challenge, it's time to make a harvest of my pineapple here. It's been two years or so, or just over two years. Uh, the height of the pineapple is five inches, and across is about four inches. The crown here, or whatever you call that, that's about 12 inches. As you can see, I have several pups. Uh, hanging around. I'm going to harvest uh, all these other pups. This one right here I'm going to actually leave uh, in the pot and let that one regrow. The other ones I'm going to give away so that um, somebody else can uh, have pineapples. Uh, if you watch uh, Bob Mel's garden, Mr. Bob, he harvested his pineapple about two weeks ago, something like that. So I would like to thank him for his experiences and uh, sharing his knowledge about the, the pineapples because I did uh, watch his for a while and, and gain some information from him. So, okay, well, folks, Mr. Bob, thank you very much. Here we go, everybody. Let's see how do we harvest this bad boy. I'm going to do a taste test in a separate video. Oh, there we go. All right, there it is. My own pineapple. About two years, and like I said, it's not a thing of. Uh, what's you know coming out my garden or whatever else it's just a novelty thing of growing your own pineapple okay hold on let's talk about that pineapple um i didn't make a separate video because i forgot all about it uh actually the, the timing didn't work out properly for me to um make the video with it uh but um long story short it wasn't all that great uh the pineapple um you can take a look at this picture right here uh you can see all these uh, all the brown spots um I don't know what caused that. If someone knows what caused it, um, please let me know. This is my thought of what happened. So when I uh, harvested the pineapple, um, it might have been a little too ripe. Uh, perhaps uh, I asked a couple of people if, when they go to the store, what do they look for, uh, what color. Uh, and generally it was more yellow than green. Uh, some green uh, in between each of those uh, flower spots, those little chunks. Um, so I waited, harvested, and then um, Later that day, or possibly the next day, um, I was overlooking the pineapple, so I was going to put it uh, to get cold. Uh, I like to eat the pineapple cold. And um, just turning it over, looking at it, I noticed that one of those segments, uh, usually it was like where a flower came out, um, one of those segments was entirely gone. Not just part of it, um, the entire section uh, of that shape. I, I thought back maybe it, when I cut the pineapple that it hit the bucket and it ripped it off or something look back at the video and it didn't happen um, I looked on the ground to buy it, it there was no scrapes of it so I have no idea how that uh, came about how it came off um, perhaps a bug started eating it a bird or something started eating it I don't know why they would eat the exact outline and nothing else but alas uh, looking through that I can see into the pineapple a little bit and what I could see was that dark brown color, and it reminds me of uh, oxidation, like if you had, um, what is it, apples and potatoes, I think, that when you cut them, they're exposed to air, they start to turn brown, oxidize. Um, so, I don't know what that is about, but when I cut it from the bottom from that spot, the further up I got uh, towards the top of the pineapple, the more proper looking the pineapple was. It had a bit more juice there, but uh, generally it was just, um, it was dry and very fibrous. I know pineapple is fibrous to start with, but uh, where it was dry, it was like trying to chew on plastic or rope or something. So um, yeah, that's the results uh, of the pineapple, two years for that. Um, I'm gonna keep it going, what I have in the bucket, and we'll just wait and see another two years. Uh, this time I'll harvest earlier and uh, keep a track on it that's it um any comments questions you can just leave them down below i thank y'all very much for watching this is grow me something mister and remember to uh i don't have an next line yet so see you later everybody